to go even further beyond! Yeah. My name is Akashi and in this video we're going to be diving into whether it's worth it for you to summon on the new banner margin despair. I'm going to keep it a stack with you. I'm going to keep this video quite short and simple. I recorded this video already and it was like 15 minutes. I'm like, you guys are not going to like that. So that is not necessary. We're going to breeze through this banner uh, and look at everything that you guys can actually consider to actually know whether it's worth it for you guys to actually spend your chronicles here, 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 here. Because a disclaimer a big disclaimer we're gonna be getting lfs every single month at this rate just like dokun they get lrs every single month so you're gonna have to be more cautious of where you spend your chrono crystals more than ever before so the fact that i'm telling you this be wary that if you spend your chrono crystals here don't complain next month that there's no chrono crystals like you have to actually be very cautious every banner is not for you if you're free to play that's literally how it is now get used to it it's tough bro. it's tough this is a gacha so um, yeah hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video if you haven't already make sure to press that subscribe button on this grand to 15k at the time i'm recording this video all my socials are on the top of the screen because this is a full screen video this is the youtube channel but we got twitter twitch reddit instagram and a discord link all in the description below so make sure to check me out on all of those but yeah like i said i don't want to hold you guys up any longer we're trying to make this video short and snappy let's actually get into this video now Alright, so what I did before was I actually went into the other banners which are actually returning and we all know that Zenkai's tend to overshadow every type of unit that comes out. Zenkai's are way more solid, way more reliable and guarantee you a great unit that you can use for your team and more time they'd be the main powering force for your team. So we've got these three banners who are returning. We've got Zenkai Awakening Super Saiyan 2 Trunks who's returning quite early. We've got Zenkai Awakening Android 18 who's one of the best characters in the game if not the best. But I know she's not the best because Gohan exists. And then we've also got Super Gogeta here who's the best red on a fusion team by far. Like it's not even close. So these characters here are really good for each team. Even Zen this Trunks here. Hybrid teams he's the best blue in the game for that team. And then even looking at future team, he can easily replace Vegito or Blue. It's just a matter of your preference, honestly. Um, I prefer Vegito or Blue, but Trunks is going to be better than Vegito or Blue for most of you, depending on how, how many stars you got on Vegito or Blue. Android 18 is the best yellow for Android team. And she's going to fit on a few more Warriors team and there's no yellow replacing her. That's a fact. I think I already spoke about Gogeta. But let's actually get into the new banner now, which we're actually looking forward to. Uh, the Margin Despair. Cut that out. Ah, my internet was bugging out. But we've got the Margin Despair banner here. It starts on the 17th and it ends on the 23rd. So February to March and you've got over a month. So you can actually decide over a long period of time whether it's actually worth it for you. If anything, you should wait till the last day so you can see what comes next. But it, like, honestly, there's no rush for you if you're free to play, especially. The first summon is 500 Chrono Crystals and the rest are 1k as per every multi and then the last one's going to be free then you're going to reset and probably go to this step here uh, that's what usually happens you get these tickets here the guaranteed sparking tickets but they're just the normal trash ones which just give you a random sparking from a big pool of characters which is quite annoying but then if you do 10 it's not anything better so um, those tickets are trash uh, just going to put that out there but I'm um, looking at the other characters on the banner. We've obviously got the new units here. Kid Boo and Mar uh, not Marjorie Vegeta. Angel Vegeta. And then we've got these four Legend Limited characters here. So Ultra Instinct Sign Goku is the one that people are going to want. People have been asking me about him. But there's also Margin Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Vegito. Possible prospects for Zenkai. But we're not going to talk about those. We're here for the new characters here. So I'm actually not going to actually um, question your ability to read. I'll put the links to these in the description because like I said, I'm not even trying to make the video too long, but I've already read over it because like I said, I made the video already. So we're actually just going to actually glance over everything that I, I looked at. So I've had them at six star and I put them to 5,000, which is probably the best uh, or the maximum that most people will have them at. Vegeta probably higher stars because you can actually more easy power him, but Kid Buu not so much. But looking at Vegeta's stats, his stats are not the best, but that's because he's a support type and he's yellow. Um, going down, his unique abilities is where they both kick in. 
Vegeta, he just seems to be causing inconveniences for the enemy overall. And he's actually helpful in terms of actually killing sub count overall. Um, other things that he actually gets is actually a big buff. Like I said, he gets damage, damage inflicted 60%. Margin Boo, Kid Boo gets like 90%, but we'll get into that after. Um, he also gets damage inflicted just for being in longer. Um, but it resets, resets all, uh, after switching characters. So he's kind of got like an Ultra Instinct Goku type of buffing. Uh, look at that. The cards overall. Um, draw speed, special move. It decreases the enemies if it lands, um, which is pretty nice. And then the special skill. It's pretty neat, destroys all your own cards and randomly draws four new ones, cancels downgrade and you get 20% damage inflicted for the allies. That's very neat. I looked at his Z ability and at 2 stars he busts Saiyans, at 3 stars he busts Vegeta family and then it just keeps going up. Uh, so he's actually got a pretty good Z ability. So he's going to fit on Vegeta family and Saiyans especially. Looking at what characters can replace him, the other characters on a, uh, a Saiyan team, we've got uh, Goku Youth who's clearly a very good unit and he's a zenkai very solid off rip so it's a bit techy depending on how you want to actually uh place them together uh his main ability is pretty good as well restores health and then uh nullifies on unfavorable elements so depending on how long you keep him in you could actually get quite a lot of damage off with this guy like vegeta is good i really mean that he's good but it's a lot more situational and that's just if you want to swap him out for Goku Youth on a Saiyan team. Looking on Vegeta family team, they got the God Vegeta and even though God Vegeta doesn't buff Vegeta family, I'm, I'm sure. Um, it, it's, it's still crazy to try and replace that guy who actually has a cover change. Um, this Vegeta here, he doesn't have a cover change. However, he does reduce the enemy key um, by a lot. So he kind of like causes the combo to end pretty much. Um, but if you want to swap this guy for Trunks Rage, that would be a better option. But if you got the God Vegeta Zenkai 7, I don't feel like that's the case. So on a Saiyan team, he would be worth summoning for. But from a free-to-play standpoint, he's not necessary at all because he's got uh, Goku Youth. On a Vegeta family team, even more so definitely not because people definitely run God Vegeta. But if you don't have the God Vegeta, then this guy would be good to go for. But yeah, that's overall what I concluded from Vegeta. Um, he is a very good unit, don't get me wrong, but the value of it actually adding to your team isn't that much to actually go for it. Let's actually go into Kid Buu now. So again, looking at Kid Buu, Kid Buu is blue. Um, I have him at 6 stars, just like I did Vegeta, because that's probably the maximum you get him. Uh, he's a range type, so the blast attack is going to be higher than the strike, which you can assume, and it shows. Uh, this guy actually gets his bust through his main and unique, so you can see... Um, the main is where his uh, ultimate arts comes from. That's why I said that that's where he gets his bust from. The ultimate arts is pretty much the main damaging force. But if you look at his unique here, 90% damage inflicted. That's the biggest thing. And he has a grudge against Saiyans and regeneration. Plus 25%, which is quite good. He gets key and inflicts enemies attributed 20% damage received. So overall, it's kind of like you're doing 110%. And then the plus 25%. So you're going 135%, bro. Like... Kid Boo is really good. Like, imagine having this kit in like a Saiyan, it'd be disgusting. But you'll see what I mean. Uh, the Ultimate Arts, I'm gonna get into that later, but it has Blast Armor, and I feel like that's a big play uh, in characters nowadays. Uh, this can occur every four times. Um, so, uh, every four time account, sorry, while this character is on the battlefield. So, um, restores key by 30, and that's crazy. Like, that's crazy like crazy there's a following effects occur every full time accounts while on the battlefield restore key by 30 that's crazy inflict enemy attribute downgrade plus 20 percent damage received that's crazy that's crazy <laughs> uh, a friendly draws one card when you have three or fewer cards and that's after uh applies the following effects to self when this character evades a, a enemy attack so if you do a vanishing step you gain plus 50 percent and draw one new card if you have three or fewer cards so 50% to Vanishing Gorge recovery. So not that you get the whole gorge back 50%, you get the recovery 50%. So uh, in terms of the speed, it comes back. And then here's some more things that you get when this character comes onto the battlefield. Uh, so draw, when the enemy switches, sorry. So you draw a, a special arts card. So it kind of like punishes the enemy for them switching out. And <laughs> that's, pro that's a problem. 
but his blast arts is really good because it gets cheaper for every time he gets a hit uh, you can get one to three of these for every special move that he lands. It's a long range one Kamehameha, which is pretty nice. The green card is really good because he gets health and he gets 60% vanish recovery four times. So this kind of like is where I was stuttering before because what I was thinking of 60% um, off rip just doing a, a green card. That can make such the difference in a battle. You don't understand. And the fact that it activates four times, the enemy is going to be confused. They're going to be confused. <laughs> Regen team, they do tend to get green cards now and then, depending on what characters you run. So it's a bit techy. Plus 30% of damage inflicted for 15 time accounts. Arts card draw speed by one level as well. Special um, ultimate arts. Plus 50% of ultimate damage inflicted and nullifies the endurance and blast armor, of course. Uh, he busts regen out with two stars, three stars is regen and powerful opponents. Then it just goes up which is pretty nice but overall kid boo is a really good unit as well like go both vegeta and uh kid boo are really good units boo more so than vegeta but i feel like boo is more so just for the region team if you run a powerful opponent i guess but i don't feel like powerful opponents a team you're really gonna want to build um for the main part honestly being speaking but if you run a region team boy this guy is going to be your man he's your man i'm not gonna lie this guy here that's your guy um looking at the previews as well just so if you guys want to see because i know people might not watch the video um not audio but you guys can see that he's actually pretty decent um if you can imagine everything that he's applying if he gets a green card right here and he waited a bit instead of doing the ultimate arts he would have restored his vanish step probably which is crazy to think about and then the fact that he has the key recovery as well for that last for like 10 time accounts that's neat as hell the, the legendary finish animation is always lovely to see which is nice um vegeta on the other hand as well it, the preview is pretty short however he's going to be coming out so you guys can even try them on the summoning section if you really want to like there's no rush honestly if you're free to play please pe please be patient you don't want to actually fall back and just, like regret spending on this banner um overall i don't feel like the banner has much value and it's much more situational you don't need the vegeta but the vegeta would be good uh, the Kid Buu, if you run a region team, I feel like he's going to be insane and something, someone you're going to actually want. But he's a Legends Limited, so chasing that is going to be techie as well. But overall, I'm going to be summoning on the Zenkai 18 banner. Like, no brain now. I already have Trunks and I already have Gogeta. Um, so, 18, you're coming home, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But um, I don't run a region team and I don't need Vegeta at all. I might do run rotation just for the sake of it. But um, Zenkai 18 is the one that I want. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> just to give it my take. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I told you guys I wasn't trying to make the video too long. So this video should be just about 10 minutes. 15 minutes was such a drag. that they, uh, they, uh, I violated. I violated. I can't lie. But, yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. Press that subscribe button if you haven't already on this grant to 15k at the time I'm recording this video. My name is Akashi, guys, and I will see you guys in the next one.